Okay, this is video five in our series of installing uh, domain services for Windows. We are at the summary screen and we just select next and it actually begins the configuration. Uh, I'm real quick, I'm just going to show you a few things uh, um, as far as things to tail. I have screen showing here set up so we can tail different logs. Then in the initial part, the Y2 log is wonderful to view. You can see the configuration of really all the, the pieces, the, the, the commands that are executed as far as configuring eDirectory. You can see 43% we have eDirectory, 50% is a reboot, 75% is NMAS, uh, eight, was it 78% I think it is, seven, or 87% is uh, DNS, and then 93% is a critical part. That's not that any other parts are not critical, but it is the part of the actual configuring your domain uh, objects and all the configurations necessary for DSFW to work. Uh, eDirectory, not that eDirectory is not necessary, of course it is. But here we, we, we can see the commands, the NDS config add, actually what it's actually doing here. So I recommend tailing the Y2 log. It's uh, var log um, yast y2 log. We're going to be tailing that log. Also, th the NDS DC init log. This is during uh, the XAD configuration. We can switch between the y2 log and this NDS DC init log to see what is going on. During the provisioning piece, there is the provisioning log. Math, math is going on. So that is uh, during the provisioning wizard, and that will be the second half of uh, the actual you know, two-piece part of the, the install. So configuring DNS, it's common to see this AR-17 uh, scrolling through eventually. Uh, should uh, finish, and we'll be on to the XAD piece of the install in just a moment. But if, if you have a, a failure, the Y2 log is the first place I would come to uh, look to see what uh, what it's configuring. Specifically, do a search like on NDS config, uh, NDS config, and then you'll see the commands that are being ran. So in this case, right here, now we're onto the XAD piece. Kind of jumping around here, we we see the policies equals yes, domain uh, admin name, uh, all of our configuration on what is what we're going to be using for our our domain. If we switched over to the NDSDC init log, we can see these being generated. There's different LDF files, uh, objects that are that are being created. Uh, w when this is finished, it will finish off by saying that uh, the users container is created, the administrators created, and the domain users is created. Admin and administrator and domain users all will be LUM enabled. If if there's a problem during the LUM piece of the, of this install, th that will be after actually the XAD piece is uh, configuring uh, LUM. If there's a problem with LUM, generally you just have to go in with iManager and go to your go to LUM management and LUM enable that that uh, user, specifically administrator, admin, whichever one you get an error with. Uh, the Y2 log will will show you what what error it is. Also, th the logs specific to those products. So, like with with uh, eDirectory, you have your your uh, install log for eDirectory. With uh, uh, XAD, we have the NDS con NDSDC init log. For LUM, it's usually in the var log messages where you would see uh, errors with that. Not to mention the uh, the Y2 log. Again. We know the installs fi finished with the XAD because we again we have our users, container administrator and domain users, completed. So the NDS DC init piece is finished. We go back to the Y2 log. Something also to note is that if you have a firewall running on here, uh, or if we're wanting to use a firewall, DSFW automatically uh, will list the the ports to to allow through the firewall to allow DSFW to work. The those holes will be poked in uh, for every port that's that DSFW will be using, or that's critical for DSFW to use. So you can run the firewall on here and, and not uh, have a conflict. Uh, we're just about done. The storage uh, services is now getting configured. I'll uh, 
pick it up here in just a minute when we get to the provisioning piece. Okay, the install, the YAST section of the install is now completed. We're on to the provisioning wizard. Say next. And just letting this, giving us a reminder that we're not finished yet. We have to run the provisioning wizard in YAST. We'll configure that later. For, that's for our updates. And let's just get our log ready. The, the provisioning wizard will actually will have this log running also, but I like to have it running myself. Here we go. This is the provisioning wizard. We just uh, kicked this off. Uh, w we'll finish off by just talking about the partitioning, and then ac and then the next section will actually be going through this uh, this log or this this part of the the configuration and finish up our install. So we just put our passwords in. This is enabling custom provisioning. So if we did not if we did not do anything from at this point except say okay, what would happen is the the part only uh, this partition here would be part of the domain. With this, we are able to go and enable uh, other partitions to be part of the domain. And we're going to enable B and C to be part of it. Now you come in here and you just click on it, you're going to get an error right off the bat. This is just telling us we need to add a replica of this partition before we can actually enable it. So let's go into console one. Again, normally I do this in iManager, but it's a little easier to see it with with console one and, and move around really quick. So here we have B. We're just gonna add. And again, our server by default will be will be in this OES systems objects, and there it is, DSFW1. Say OK. And when once that's turned on, we'll go on to C. You do not have to add a replica of the top level, the the where we're actually mapping it to. Uh, that will be added on automatically. So if we just click around, we see that it's on. We'll now do C. There we go. It's in a new state. It'll turn on here shortly. If we go to our provisioning wizard, if we just click here. You can see, ah, yes, it allows us to to select it. Let's just make sure it is on. We'll select C, same thing. Now, if we go and click D, again, we get that error. We do not have a replica on. So that it would be nice if this was at, just automatically did it for you. Um, but it, again, it's not a big deal. You can just go and add it. Very simple to do. All right, we're now we're on to the actual provisioning wizard. You know what? We got some time. We'll just quickly run through this and, and finish this off. Uh, we'll I'll start this off. And the only pieces to really be worried about, uh, where you generally might see a failure, is here creating configuration partition, and maybe here. And this and both of these are usually because the restart hasn't finished coming up yet before it started. Very rarely see this. SP2 it was a little more common, but you just don't see it in SP3. SP3, uh, this SP2, this wasn't really seen. Now you see it if you're doing a run all. If you do a one at a time, uh, you won't see an error, but you generally will get an error here. You just run again; it'll go through and and finish it off. As you can see here, it's adding the uh, part a replica of the partition. We're gonna then we're gonna be setting up our our plugins, uh, adding our domain objects. So all the there's going to be a list of objects that will be created, and then we're going to create a configuration partition and a schema partition. And uh, just kind of going through, uh, adding the different objects within these uh, in the domain that are necessary for it to run. These names will look familiar to you if you're familiar with AD. Assigning the rights. This is one task that you cannot run again. Uh, most of them you can rerun. This one you have to go and clear off all the ACLs before you can run it again, and it can be troublesome. Uh, something else to note: all of these these tasks they can be ran inside of iManager or not, uh, manually, I should say. You can export the passwords and and run them. Anyway, the we're uh, we'll f end this video about here, and then uh, pick up the in the, in the next section uh, since we're running out of time. Thanks.